All right, everybody. Thanks for coming back and watching another Booyah video. This is Brit. I'm going to show you the Neo.EMU emulator today that came out on Ouya just a couple of days ago. Go to Options and Video first thing. I'm going to show you how to get this thing to look absolutely gorgeous. Make sure the aspect ratio is at 4.3, image filter to none, overlay effect scan lines, overlay effect level 10%, zoom at 90%, keep everything else by default, bada bing bada boom, it's going to look absolutely gorgeous as you will see in just a couple of minutes. Um, to get into the game, some really important things that, that you'll need to know is of course you're going to need a game file. You're going to need uh, Unibios version 2.3 if you want to be able to switch it between AES and MVS mode and also choose which region you're from. Um, that's important for different things because different regions would uh, have blood in the game and different and other regions wouldn't and that kind of thing. And I'm just going to give you a quick rundown on how to get these files. Unibios, you need to do a search for it on the internet. You want to find version 2.3. It's very easy to come by. Neogeo.zip, that is the BIOS file for the Neogeo itself um, from MAME. Once you have that file, you want to unzip the Unibios file, take the ROM out of it, and move it into the Neogeo.zip file, and then you want to put Neogeo.zip in your games folder. Once you've done that, you should be able to play the game no problem 100%. A couple of notes, as you can see, it runs and plays super smooth. Uh, the reason we set that earlier setting, the, um, the uh, it was zoom at 90%, was because if you set it at 100%, your TV will actually cut off a part where it says credit zero down here, about halfway across that. And it'll also cut off some, some information at the top of the screen, where it says total and insert coin. So if you set it at 90%, you get to see the whole screen. Um, the scan lines are what really sends it over the edge and makes it absolutely gorgeous. Um, this, without a doubt, looks even better than Neo Geo games on the Neo Geo X, which is the handheld console they brought out uh, just, a, just a few months back at the beginning of the year. Um, as you can see, the, uh, the gameplay is very smooth. Everything runs top notch. Um, I just want to give a thanks to Robert Broglia. I'm not sure if I'm, I'm pronouncing your last name right, but I want to say thank you for this. I'm a huge Neo Geo fan. Thank you for porting this over. He's at explusalpha.com and the DN Geo team. Um, I'm not. I'm not sure who you guys are, but I'm glad you're out there and you work on this. Thank you so much. The aspect ratio we kept at 4.3 because it is the same as uh, as it would be on an original Neo Geo because no original Neo Geo games ran on a 16x9 LCD screen. I'm just gonna lay low for a second so you guys can actually get a real feel for the, uh, the audio and video. I've got a Neo Geo AES at home. No, scratch that. I've got an MVS at home, the arcade machine. And this is... This is my game. I love this game. Uh, it's my favorite of all Neo Geo games, um, and to see it on the Ouya, which I also love, is just fantastic. This is the only game that I've actually put on the system so far into the emulator, and the reason why is because it's the only one that, um, well, I have others that I legitimately own, but this is one that I'm just passionate about, so I wanted you to see it.
save states are obviously supported. Thank you for watching, and we will see you next time.